I know, it's the ghosts, isn't it? Say, what are you doing? Smashy smash. <laughs> I'm smashing up the... Uh, I never had chai before I met, obviously, my wife, before we were dating, never tried it. Um, obviously, she made it for me several times when we were dating, and obviously she makes it all the time now that we're married. Uh, I love chai. It Now it's the ghosts, isn't it? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit different. I'm going to present the video because Lisa, my wife, is still recovering from whatever she's got going on with her. Come here. Uh, so we're talking about hot drinks today. So before I met Lisa, I was obviously I made cups of tea all the time because, well, I'm English. I like a good cup of tea. And um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how I make a good cup of tea. Now, it's not the way that everybody makes one. Uh, some people get funny about you got to put the milk in first or not put the milk in first. I don't care, I'm gonna show you how I make it. Now, what I'm also gonna do, the great thing about being married to an Indian woman is I also get to um, make cups of chai because, well, it's, it's a lot tastier, it's a lot nicer than a standard cup of tea, uh, in my opinion, anyway. Some people will argue with me, I don't care. Um, so yeah, follow me, I'll go make a cup of tea. Right, so I'm going to make us a cup of tea. So first of all, get yourself a kettle, nice and straightforward. Get a cup. <laughs> what? No, no, you carry. Did he scare you? Did he? <laughs> right. So what we've got to do is we've got to find some mugs. Mug number one. Mug number two. Just freshly clean. Now what we're going to do? Get some water in these mugs. And pour those into the kettle because believe it or not electric is expensive in the UK so I'm only boiling the amount of water that we actually need it's a cheap move but electricity is expensive <laughs> so we're just going to wait for that to boil so whilst we're waiting for that to boil we need tea and we need sugar and of course milky milk as well. So, where are you? First <laughs> of all, tea bags. Whilst the kettle's boiling. And a bit of sugar. I'm using Demerara sugar. Because it tastes nicer. There we go, so we've got tea bags, we've got sugar. Now this is the bit that divides everybody. Some people add hot water and then the milk. I add the milk first. And the reason you do that is because otherwise you burn the tea leaves. And don't worry about how much milk I'm putting in, it's just as long as it's warm and wet, I'm happy. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Just wait for the kettle to boil, put the water in and off we go. That's it, very simple. Now, they look very, very pale because I've put the milk in first because you've got to have time and wait for the tea bags to do their job. And just generally give them a stir. Doesn't take long. Like I said, a lot of people do this differently. Some people put the milk in second. Some people, I don't know, everyone does their thing their own way. Um, as long as you don't put the milk in the microwave, you're all right which I've noticed a lot of American people seem to do. They seem to microwave the cup of tea, which... They put the water in the microwave. They do, yeah. Which, as an English person, that scares me. <laughs> there we go. Squeeze the tea bag to get the colour out. Get some of the flavour in there. And also it's then reasonably dry. It's my cup of tea, how I like it. Let's get the wife's. Mm. Right, 
There you go, two cups of tea. Say what you're doing. Smashy smash. <laughs> I'm smashing up the uh, ginger. Making the chai. Yeah, but I'm clueless. <laughs> That's more. Okay, you can put the ginger in. Hmm? Put the ginger in, yeah. You can tell the people that you're doing Okay, it. I'm going to put some ginger in there. Okay. Right, now I've got to wait until the water's boiling. Ooh, smells nice. <laughs> well done. Now I take tea and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> tea! Sugar! Mm. Still, sm still smells nice. Ginger Tell water. Why do you like Have you ever tried chai before marrying me? Uh, or before dating me? No. Never. Um, you introduced me to this. I'm thinking ginger water would be quite a nice drink. Like maybe with a bit of sugar and just stir they it. They do ginger shots. Yeah, that'd be quite nice. Because it smells nice, I bet it... Yeah, it's fresh ginger. Tastes nice as well, yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I never had chai before I met, obviously, my wife. Before we were dating, never tried it. Um, obviously, she made it for me several times when we were dating. And obviously, she makes it all the time now that we're married. Uh, I love chai. It takes longer to make than a cup of tea, which means it is not always convenient. Um, but it tastes a lot nicer. It's, sort of, it's a lot stronger flavour and a lot more tasty. I quite like it. Um, I really liked it when I was in India. We went on the trains. We went on a long train journey uh, from Trivandrum to Mumbai. And we had and it, the, the chai wallers are walking up and down the the, you know, shouting chai 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 and all that sort of stuff and those tiny little cups and it's like 10 pence, it's cheap as hell but it was like, so tasty because obviously in those um, urns that they've got it stays in there all day or whatever um, or they do something different with the flavour, it tastes really nice it tastes nicer than normal chai because it's concentrated, I don't know how Yeah and I think if you're dieting you can't have those <laughs> It could be lots of sugar that makes yeah. it tasty, yeah <laughs> Oh lots of sugars yeah. Oh yeah Okay, let's have some tea bags then you're the cook. <laughs> right. Um, so this is how we do it. Ooh, funny colours. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to add the cardamom now. So I've been told I've got to get the cardamom and crush it. Just like break it apart, yeah? Yeah. Let the seeds fall in the whole thing, yeah? Just put the whole thing in. Yeah. There's some little old lady going, that's oh, fucking easy, what are you doing? <laughs> well, it's because they do it for a long time, they, it's easy for them. Yeah. And I, I think you're a cook, you don't like being around in the kitchen, but... Nope. Thanks for making a nice cup of chai. Mm -hmm. How many have I put in so far? I don't know. I ain't counted! <laughs> Just <laughs> I'll put one more in, that should be about right. Mm. 
They get sort of, they don't want to crack, they just want to fall apart. There you go. That's some cardamom, all cracked and in. Yeah. Right, we're going to add some milk now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. How much do I add? Just wave your foot when, you, when I'm done. Just add until it's changed nice colour. Is that about right? A bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. That'll do. Okay. Now let it bring to the boil again, yeah? Yes. Cool. Right, so as you can tell, this is the first time I'm making chai. <laughs> I really don't have any idea. And you might notice from the editing and the voices in the background that actually my wife's telling me how to do this. Because <laughs> I ain't got a clue. <laughs> but it's fun. You know, once I've learned how to do this properly, I'm making it because she's not feeling amazing. Once I've made it, made it and proper, um, I can make it again. There you go. So next time when I'm ill, I'm not saying I will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he can make me, but you, you yeah. have been looking after me really well. I think it's mm. been like about three weeks. Mm. Yes, I've been has. ill. Yeah. Three weeks and two days. I'm not counting. In six mm. hours. And so I was like, <laughs> you can see like my hob is like, it's dirt, it's my I'm not clean cut. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not touching that, it's her job. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for doing that. I know right. you might be thinking like, oh, she can hold the camera. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have the energy for that, but. Right, should we turn the heat up, get it boiling? Yeah. So it's always a learning curve. Mm. I know you like um, Thai, so. I yeah. thought it would be a nice fun video to make. And <laughs> never do that. Why not? Well, it's gonna spill everywhere. Ah, that's fine. Have. Right, we like our chai sweet. I'm gonna add some sugar. I'm gonna put one of these big spoons in. In fact, I'm gonna put two in. <laughs> You don't have to stir it. No, I'm getting the sugar off the spoon. Ah, uh, okay. So it's easier to clean it later. There we are. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get it too close. <laughs> There you go, better. Okay. Well, I don't know. What do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Let's pour it all out. All out? Yeah, she said pour it down the drain. <laughs> Ooh. Right. That's done, is it? Yes. Now you can serve it. Lovely. <laughs> you look like you're clueless. <laughs> Looks are not deceiving. I am clueless. <laughs> right. So that's our thing. And the cuts. Perfect. There we are. Perfect amount. Lovely. Now taste it. It's boiling hot. You made it taste it. Take nice a tiny nice. sip. Mm. Nice. Nice. <laughs> okay, now you can try Chris's chai. And this is how we make it. Yeah. But some people put a lot of stuff like cinnamon stick. Oh, that'd be nice with a bit of cinnamon in. Mm. Why didn't we do that? <laughs> I like cinnamon flavour. I think that's what they did on the on the train. There was a lot of cinnamon flavouring. 
They, you know, you can put like a lot of like different type of masalas mm. and stuff in it to make yes, it more. Yes, we should do that. <laughs> <It's dear>. oh. <laughs> well, there you go. So that's a that's a cup of chai made. It tastes lovely. But we could have made it nicer. We could have put other things in, um, like cinnamon sticks, because I like cinnamon flavour. Uh, but nobody told me about that, so fine. <laughs> right, I'll do. Okay. That's all that we're doing today. Uh, thank you for watching and if you like what we do and the chaos that comes from me trying to do anything in the kitchen, uh, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell button and all that stuff. Lovely. <laughs> right, see you next time. Bye.